Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we do practice example on context sensitive grammar. The language is A power N, B power N, and C power N. In our last class, we already discussed about what's context sensitive grammar. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's example, L is equal to A power N, B power N, C power N, N greater than or equal to 1. This is the language. So this is the context sensitive grammar for the language L is equal to A power N, B power N and C power N. We will derive one of the input string. How we can derive this using this context sensitive grammar. So here, this is the string. If you want to derive this, yes tends to what's the A, B, C, A, A, B, C. This is the option we have, A, A, B, C. We have chosen this A, A, B, C. In place of A, B, A, B, A, B can be written as B, A. That is what we have done. So A, B, A, C. In place of A, C, we can take it as B, capital B, B, C, C. So the next uh, the next uh, uh, expansion is A B capital B B C C. And after that, uh, in place of B B, convert into B B can be converted into B B. So we twisted it. Uh, so now A B B B C C. In place of A B A capital B, we can write it as A A B A A A. So A A A. B B C C that is what the production we have up to now derivation we have now A B is converted into A B is converted into B A so we convert in again A B is converted into B A now B C B A A C can be converted into so whenever you have A C B capital B B C C now we have in place of A C we have written B capital capital B B C C C now change move this B towards the left how we move that B B can be written as a B B small b capital B can be written as a capital B small b we change it again the next one B B small b capital B can be converted as a so we return it as a capital B small b now A B can be written as A B can be written as A A so finally we got the input string A A A B B B C C this is how we derive context uh, the input strings for the given context sensitive grammar hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you